everyone, and especially the children tonight. The crib replaces the Advent wreath because Christmas has come and the time of preparation is over. Jesus was born in a stable where animals were housed in winter and he was wrapped in swaddling clothes and placed in a manger which was a feeding trough for the animals. Now the reason why Jesus was born in a stable was because Mary and Joseph were turned away from the nearby inn which was full of guests on that particular night because hordes of people were in town for the census. We, sh we should thank God that we have a nice bed to sleep in every night where we can feel warm and safe. Many children worldwide don't. But you don't find Joseph or Mary complaining when they saw the no vacancy sign in the window of the inn. They were so thankful that Jesus was safe even if he had to make do with an outbuilding. The door of the inn may have been closed to Mary and Joseph, but because of the birth of their son, the door of heaven is open for all of us. That door will always remain ajar as long as we remain faithful to him by doing what he asks. Strange as it may seem, I think God wanted his son Jesus to be born in a stable where there were no luxuries or proper amenities. The only heat in the stable, for instance, was the body heat from the animals which would have helped to keep Jesus warm. And of course the swaddling clothes would keep Jesus very cosy as well. Having lots of things, even presents, is not what makes us happy. Now there's nothing wrong with having presents, but it's not the be-all and end-all of everything. The people in this day will love and care for each other and when we are with people who love and care for us, we are really happy too. Look at the people in the crib tonight. Mary loves Joseph, Joseph loves Mary and they both love Jesus. And what about the shepherds? Well, they too were really happy when the angels appeared to them in the middle of the night and told them to go to Bethlehem to see the new baby. A lot of people didn't like the shepherds because they lived like drifters. People would steer clear of them. But when the angels appeared to them, they must have felt ten foot tall. They, of all people, were the first to hear of Jesus' birth. St. Paul, in 1 Corinthians, he tells us, that those whom the world thinks common and contemptible are the ones that God has chosen, and he's proved it on this occasion. The shepherds felt at home in the stable with Mary and Joseph, and it didn't matter what kind of clothes they were wearing or how rough they looked. I'm sure there's a lesson here for all of us. They say we should never judge a book by its cover, and in the same way we should never judge a person by the way they look, or the clothes they wear, or how they speak. <clears throat> Christmas is about God's love for us and our love for God and one another. May the Holy Spirit fill our hearts with love and peace this Christmas. On this holy night, we re-echo the prayer of the angels. Glory to God in the highest heaven and peace to men, and women and children of good will. Thank you all for listening and God bless you. Oh, oh.